Hi, and welcome back to probably the most nervous I have ever, ever been on an explore for Finders Beepers History Seekers. Now, I am in a building that I, sh that I shouldn't be in, that I definitely, definitely shouldn't be in, but it is full of history. Now there is, it's weird, where I am at the moment, it's not gonna be one big continuous building that I go around. I'm not gonna be able to go from room to room and show you. There's lots of little buildings, some here, some miles from here. And the first place I've come to is, am is amazing what's in here. I, I, I normally leave all the good stuff for like halfway through a video. So you've got something to look at. What is to my left? What is to, what is behind me? And probably all over this room is, is crazy. It's big items and it's something that I've not come across before. Now, I am nervous because I am in buildings that are not used anymore, that are hidden away, but they're on a big estate. And if I get caught, I'm in trouble. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of trouble and I'm really nervous. Now, there is a door right there but I can't get through it. And that takes me to the rest of this building. So I have to see if there's another way to get in it because that takes me to the stairs, but it's all blocked off with things like this. And I will show you why it's blocked off in a second, but let's get on with the explore. And I'm sorry that I'm nervous and I'm sorry that I'm being like this, but it's because of where I am. But let me show you what's in front of me. Right, so like I said, that's the door that I would really, really like to get through. However, we have quite a large number of benches, seats. I don't know what that is, that big piece of wood down the back of there. But the reason that they're there blocking this door is because the floor is like this. I was so scared. I've come through those doors there and I've made my way through. And I was so scared walking around the edge of there because it was creaking, creaking and groaning. Absolutely awful. It's it's so scary. I really want to get through that door though. I really do. Now there's bits and bobs of stuff that's not really normally my thing, like machinery of some sort down there and bits on the shelves, which aren't really the exciting thing in here. Now this has got something to do with what we're in here for. And you might not be able to work it out. It just looks like a big piece of wood. But when I get over behind me and show you, I'm pretty sure you'll be like, oh my God, let's go and have a look. Now at the moment I'm having to walk on this bench so I don't stand, stand on there. But every noise outside, I am scared to death. But look, at this. Look at that for a cart. It's an old, old cart, but behind it, there's even more. There's one down here, look. And this is, I can't show you because it's underneath all this stuff, but it's like a proper four wheeled cart. Not like the big two wheeled ones. It's got four wheels and a proper seat on it that would have been pulled along behind those bits there would have attached onto the horse. That's what I was saying about this as well. This all attaches onto the back of the horses. But let me go on over and have a look at these. Now, I've got to be really careful when I get down off here. Like, really careful. I think it, this bit of the floor is not too bad. It's that bit down there. I am sort of interested. What is down there? Like, is it something that I can get down to? God, this is oh, it's quite solid on here. We're all right, but look at this, look how dodgy. It like leans away. Now, I don't think there's anything down there and I don't know how I would manage to get down and get back up again. But yeah, look at this. This is the one that is sort of, oh, I heard squeaking then in my bag. This is the one that's underneath stuff and look, you can see like, there's a seat on the back of there. And also we've got all the bits of tools and things like that for it. But I, I 
can't really show you what it says on the side of there because it'll give away exactly where I am. But as you can see, it's from a very, very large estate. I can sort of show you that and that's about it. But it's massive. I didn't realize they were as big as this. Like that wheel is probably, looking at me, it's probably about five foot, a five foot wheel. Right, let's come further around here. Now there is more, and the one at the end is just magnificent. Like this is a smaller version of this one we stood next to. I can show you a little bit better now, because I didn't want to give away what estate it was from. Yeah, look, this one has got seats in the side. And a little thing for your lamp lamp had gone on there as well and the big wheels but the one at the end i have got to be careful like i said with these floors the one at the end look at this look at this this isn't just something that was used for the riffraff for the people out in the fields or going from place to place this was something pretty important now i'm just going to quickly move this bit of cardboard so i can get to it properly and show you Right, I've just moved the cover off it and moved that cardboard, like I mentioned, just so we can have a proper look at it. Now, look, it's got the original tartan on it as well. Look at all the dust, so dusty. No headlamps, it just had little torches on the side. And this was the, the important person would have sat on the back here and the driver up at the front and it's looking Oh look, look at that. I don't know what that's supposed to represent, but that is pretty cool. Now does this, how does this open? Is it? I don't know if it opens from the top. Something opens. Don't want to damage it, this is the problem. And I also don't really know where to put the torch. Well, I'll lift it up, there we go. I don't know how to do it. Is it from the bottom? I don't want to force it either. It's a shame. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to force it because it's uh, it wouldn't be right. But look, oh, I've got to be careful when I step back. It's got the old suspension underneath there as well. And the wheel, these wheels aren't as big, but just, I just love it. All right, let me try and step back and show you. Look at that. How good would that be trundling, trundling along, trundling along, you can tell how nervous I am, trundling along through the local villages, going down, and people would watch you as you went past because other people wouldn't have anything quite as grand as this. Now, Queen Victoria came and stayed here quite a lot. Now, I don't know, obviously, I'm just surmising this could have been used for her to get around the grounds. It could have been used for the the sort of the duke it could have been used for anybody but it's pretty amazing now like i said there isn't a great deal other in here there's like some really good little bits like old stuff and i saw something up there and i don't know what it is let's try climbing on this and having a look this thing here like an old speaker i've got to be really careful i don't want to break anything. How solid is this? Not solid at all. Oh no, I didn't stand on that. But that, look, the old speaker there. And a thing about electric shock. Now we're not at Glarns Castle. I know that sort of looks like I'm giving away where we are, but we're not there at all. So don't worry, I'm not giving it away. But look at all these old drawers as well over here. They're not new at all look at the big brass panels on them so good i am so nervous i am so worried about getting caught the big old saw but that thing is crazy now i am going to go out of here and try and get into the next building but i don't know if i can get into any others as of yet i'll show you the courtyard that we're in and uh, at the other side and we'll have a look round and see what we can see but 
I'm impressed with what I've found so far, to be fair. These are magnificent. Anyway, let's go. Right, I've, t I've told myself three or four times this is a really bad idea because I'm here by myself. But currently, I'm thinking about trying to get down this hole and seeing what's down there. I can see what looks like a really old whiskey bottle down there. It could be brand new, but it looks really old from where I am. And I'm scared, but I sort of want to do it. You know what I'm like? If this, there's a hole, it's a goal. <laughs> but no, let me show you. Now from here, there doesn't seem any point going down. Like I said, there's a couple of old bot looking bottles down there. But other than that, I can't, it's just a dead end. In fact, there's quite a lot of bottles down there by the looks of things. But what's the other direction? I can't get through that door. So can I get underneath and up through the other side? I'm gonna have a look, I think. I think I'm gonna risk it. Oh my God, I am so nervous. <gasps> I'm so goddamn nervous. As I get closer to this, things are moving more and more. And even though it's not a long way to fall, I don't, one, I don't want to damage anything. Two, I don't want a big spike through my leg or something. Oh God. Oh, I've heard it creaking. I don't know if I'm going to even get back out again once I've got in. That's a worry, isn't it? Right, I'm going to have to stop filming to get down here. Right, I've managed to get down here without breaking anything or breaking myself. And I'm a little bit disappointed. But I'm hoping these bottles and, some, and stuff down here are going to make up for it because I'm pretty sure it doesn't go anywhere that way. But we'll have a look. Right, there's not very much headroom, and I know a lot of people won't even find any of these bits down here worth looking at. But I like stuff like this. Like when, when was this left down here? There's quite a nice little bit of pottery there. And these bottles look, and a funnel, a little old funnel, and a, a tin. God knows what's in it. I don't know if it's even a tin or a, if it's an old battery. So I wanna, it's well and truly in there. It's not coming out. But yeah, look, a lot of these are broken, but they are quite old bottles, I think. They're not from like, 10 years ago. Can't see what that says on it. Oh, it's, it's scotch. But yeah, nothing massively exciting. But it's always worth, oh, the little skull there. I don't know what that's from, a little bird of some sort. It's always worth looking, just in case you don't know what you could find down these places. And I know I shouldn't be doing it. Because look at that, if this lands on my head when I go up here in a minute, let's have a look, is it worth it? No, it leads to nothing, nothing at all. But you can see the decay and everything falling down. I can't actually even see any items up there to go and have a look at. So I don't know if I'm gonna even risk going up there. But like I said, you just never know. Right, let's keep going. Right, I've managed to pull myself back out. That wasn't easy at all. So I'm gonna head out of this room and on to somewhere else. I'll show you the courtyard outside first. Right, so I've just been in this side of the building and those stairs would have led upstairs and across to this side of this building. Now, this was the old coach house, obviously, because it's got coaches in it as in horse and coach. Now there is other buildings around this side. Now I've got to be really careful because up through there, there is what appears to be someone's car. 
Now it's not to do with this bit of it, it's to do with some houses further up. But I've still got to be really, really careful. So I'm going to have a look around this bit, which I have had a look around already, but it seems to be sealed up pretty tight. I don't know what this bit was. I don't know if this was where they kept the cars. It looks like later, obviously quite later buildings. So the little old cars would have probably come in here after the coaches were out of service. But I don't know if there's a way in. I'm going to go and check around the other side of this building. And I'm also going to check to see if I can get in that half of the coach house. Now I'm around the back of that building. There does appear to be a door down there. But the problem I've got is this is all asbestos. And if anybody knows anything about asbestos, it's not the best thing to be climbing round on, especially breathing it in. So, I don't know if I can get through to it. Looks like somebody's patched up that bit as well, so I can't get through there. But I am gonna try. See if I, oh God, I don't know if I can get through all these nettles with nothing on my legs. Give me two minutes, I'll see what I can do. Right, so I tried climbing over the top of there, along that piece of wood. It wasn't happening. So now, I'm coming through the nettles, which is not nice because I know for a fact I'm gonna to get to that door and I'm not gonna be able to get in. So let's give it a go. It's just, I have to go so slowly because otherwise my legs will be buzzing for days. And what did I say? It's absolutely locked up. There's no way of getting in at all. It, it must be, I think it may be nailed shut from the inside because I can see very little bits of silver shining through, which look like nails, gutted. I think there might be little old cars in here. I'm not 100% sure, but I've got a feeling, which is a shame. Anyway, maybe try a bit further around the back. Right, I'm making my way through the woods, around the back of that place. There's this little swing there. It's all very spooky. And there is a big road next to here. However, there's nothing else apart from the huge hall, which is down there. That you can see that's shining is a no entry sign down for the big hall. So I've got to be really, really careful with this torch. Now we are around the back of this building now. So I'm hoping I can get in, but I've got more nettles to get through. Right, good news and bad news. Good news is, I managed to get the window open. Bad news, I ain't that thin. But, there's not a great deal in here anyway. I am gonna go and see if I can get in a different way, because you never know. Just because there's a couple of empty rooms don't mean they're all the same. But I am gonna go and have a look further round. Right, so the next window I've come to is open. I've managed to get it open easily. So, this looks like that other bit of the building I was round at the front where I said I thought the cars might be. So I'm gonna try and get in here now. I can't actually see what's there at the moment. There's a big piece of cardboard in the way. So it could be amazing. It could be terrible. Right, I'm in. And it was, wasn't a piece of cardboard. I think it's like the interior of a car. Probably something to do with this. Look at this. For a start, actually, before going any further, look at this. How cool is that? Oh, I'm so dead getting through that window. All right, let's go this way around. I think there's possibly more room. So I was wrong about it being a bunch of little old cars, but I was right about it being a car. Oh, it looks like it's seen better days, this. Oh, God. This is hard work. This is really hard work. So yeah, that's what was in here. Not really my thing, although I do like the old Land Rovers. Is it a, I can't remember what it is. Land Rover, I'm sure somebody will tell me down in the comments. I cannot remember for the life of me. But yeah, pretty cool. It's a big one as well. It's a lot bigger in the back. I'm zoomed right out, just a minute. If you look inside, it's very big. It's a lot bigger than 
I'm sure they normally are. It just seems massive, that. It really does. So, I'm guessing this is the old workshop that's been used at some point to store and do up cars. Right, on to the next. Right, so I've come to the next building up and I know all you can see at the moment is my thumb. But that's because I don't know what's in here. Which doesn't seem to be a very lot. We'll go and look around the other side bit. So basically all I'm doing is looking underneath the doors like this because there's no point making the effort when all the stuff that's in there looks modern and like it's been used as storage at some point. So let's move on. How spooky does it look round here though with that big moon? There, to get rid of the light altogether. It's scary enough as it is without that, without that moon making it seem even creepy around here. Right, let's keep looking. Now, there is a broken window here, but whether it's worth making our way in is another thing. Oh, it's the old stables, the proper old stable block with the stalls for the horses. Now there is stuff in there, but it's big metal work, but I like these step, these stalls, they're really good. With the big brass bits on the side. I do worry sometimes I'm gonna drop the camera in these places and then I have to go in, whether I like it or not. Anyway, on to the next building. Come out of these buildings here. I'm back at my car. I've got to be careful that I don't show you the signs. Now I think there's people in these houses at this site, but I'm not sure and I don't want to risk it. Now the guy that came walked straight down there and passed me. So I need to get back in the car and get to the next little bit. Right. I am at the train station now, which is a bit weird. But this train station, I'm guessing, yeah, that's the Duke. And that was the Duke's personal train station. Now, Queen Victoria used to come up on the train, get off here, probably get in one of those carts and head down there. So, and down to the main house. Because I did say I was going to get in the car and drive to the place, but actually, my car is, is there. I've just come across the railway line. I forgot I could get this way. But now, I've got the problem of going up there through these woods without a torch on. I'm okay with the torch here, because I'm sort of, kind of, supposed to be here. Well, I'm allowed to be here, but I'm not allowed to be up that road, because it's a private road. So I'm going to have to try and make do with just my eyes because I don't know if you can see in the distance there's a light there and that's because once again some buildings have got people in and then there are abandoned buildings not far away right. so I've put my phone torch on just for a minute while I'm out of sight of that cottage that house I just want to show you how pitch black it is only see my face because of the brightness of my screen but it is spooky the thing is there's a full moon behind those trees which would light me up but I'm in an area where there's massive trees that block off all the light I feel like there's someone stood behind me all the time it's horrible imagine a little face popped up in this popped 
up behind me. Someone's making a weird noise. I'm going. Yeah, one of the trees up there. Or something is creaking. Not typical, it stopped now. Making a very odd little noise. Every little noise is putting me about at the moment. Making me feel horrible. You can just see the light of the moon shining through the thick trees up there. Right, let's keep going. Right, that was close again. So I am so close to some other houses that are in use. Now this, this room itself wasn't used for this. It was storage by the looks of things. But this building and this whole block that I'm in was for the dogs, the hounds of the uh, estate. So, oh my God, you pigeony bastard. Jesus Christ, get out of here, you little dickhead. Oh my God. Why are pigeons such idiots? Look, it's just sat in doorway now. It just don't care. Just came from, oh God, there's more. There's bloody more. Right, let's get showing you. But the problem is, round this corner, God, that was like, that was like blood wiped on that wall. In here, next door, there is houses and in front of there's houses as well. Now this was the bit that they used to let the dogs, the hounds, out into to sort of like be outside and go to the toilet and stuff. And then they used to sleep in these ones. Now as you can see, it's been used to store insulation and stuff now. But this place, imagine the dogs barking. Hundreds and, well, probably maybe 20 or 30 dogs, all kept in these. I don't know what's in this front section, and I've got to be careful again because of how close we are. You look at this big area here. Now I'm guessing they would have assembled out here. Look at the moon up there. Yeah, they were all assembled out here, ready to go on the hunt or whatever they were doing at this point. Now, as far as I'm aware, this building next door is the gun room. And I don't think we can get in that. I think it's it's pretty tight. And I think somebody's gonna be living in there soon. And that's why there's all the insulation in here. But if you can think about the noise, the pure noise of all these dogs barking, they would have the water in there so they could all come have a drink and they would have stayed in these. But how? Oh, can we get around that way? Seems to be another building at this side that I, I can't really show you. There you go, look. I don't know. Let me have a look through this little window. I don't know if that's someone's house, you know. Joined on. Oh, it can't be, surely. Right. Oh, look. I'd not noticed that. I wonder if that had been there this whole time, look. Looks, looks like a baby. It's got little feathers on it. I don't want to disturb it too much. How cute is that? Beautiful little thing. And the stupid pigeons I can hear bouncing around up there. Anyway, let's get back out of this bit. So, now the hounds would have been valuable. So they would have kept them locked up in here, away from people pinching. Although I don't think I'd want to pinch a hound, to be fair. But yeah, another one down there for them to drink out of. They're almost like prison cells. Just wonder how many they would have put in each one of these. Because this area is quite big. Do you reckon maybe, I don't know, eight in each one of those, 10 maybe? Not sure. And if that's 10, that means there's 30, because there's three of these enclosures. Now look at all this stuff here. I don't know where all that is. And more stuff being kept in here, look. Oh look, there's another one sat up there on its nest. I don't want to disturb it. But yeah, they're using, they're gonna fence something off somewhere. Right, let's get out of this bit. But I've got to be careful again round here, because like I said, 
very, very close. And I'm going to try and show you. That light there is someone's bedroom window. So I've got to be really careful. And I think, like I said, they've done this bit up since last time I was up here. Right, let's see if we can see what's happening with that other building around the other side. Right, so the building next door literally is just being done up now. So when I was stood through here and I said, oh look, there's another part of the building there. And it looks like it's being done up. It literally is being done right now. So I need to keep away from that bit. The bits that I'm interested in are the bits that aren't being used. Right, I've got to be really quick on this one. So this is the gun storage room. This is the one I was telling you about before. Now, it is a pretty cool little building. Weather vane up there, 1861 on there. Now, like I said, those houses are lived in. That's where we've just been, where the dogs were. Oh, I'm not sure what that place is. We've got to have a look at that in a second. But this place now is just being used as storage. And I'm not going to try and get in because there's no point, but it's an amazing looking building. It's been converted pretty well. It's a big fireplace down there. But like I said, I'm not going to try and get in, but I am going to go and look at that little building over there. Now with this one, I can walk straight in. The door's wide open. If you want some baked beans or steak and kidney pie, we sorted. I don't think there's a great deal in here. Let me try and squeeze around this door. Yeah, so it's just been used for bits of bike and bits of firewood and things like that. But I wonder what this was used for originally. There's big hooks up there. I wonder if this was like the when they'd been out hunting, they'd hang the the stags up in here or or the pheasants. I don't know. Or it could have just been the the room that they had all the logs. But I just think it just seems a bit too good for that. Too much of a good good building. But like I said, now there's nothing of interest in there. Bike from the 1980s, that's about the best thing. But yeah, it does make me wonder what it was used for. So just to give you a bit of a look at the outside of it, it's quite a nice stone built building with your foot scraper, get the muck off your feet. But it's a very, very small building. It's got your main entrance there, and then it's got this little add on here, which I might not be able to get round to because I'm rubbish today. Oh, well, there's another little door, but it only goes to this. It's like a little, little add-on, which is strange. But anyway, that's bang opposite the gun room where the dogs were. I'm guessing that was the gamekeeper's cottages at some point. And then there's another big house behind there, which I can't really show you very well. It's all a bit spooky, a bit freaky. Right, I really am being a silly boy now. Because this, with the lights on, is the house I've just walked past. But then I noticed the bit it's joined onto is empty. has a man having it, I've seen him, but this is, oh god that scared me, it's just a, a fire alarm that's run out of battery, but the stone flagged floors in here, it's looking like the floorboards are very dodgy, once again, Looks like they're going to be doing it up very soon. Now I know this is not the sort of explorer you're used to seeing from me and Andy. Because it's like empty places. But these are buildings that have only ever been seen inside by the staff. 
people that work for the estate, nobody comes in here. And these are hundreds of years old, as you can tell by the flooring. I'm currently only using my phone light because I don't have a big light shining out. Look at these. Look at all the bottly things. What's that one say on it? London. Imagine it coming all the way from London up here, miles away. But it's got the smell of an abandoned building, this. The old smell, look at it in here. The old drawer, little old bottles. Some more over there, double sink, but I think that's like from the 70s or something. But, little cupboard under the stairs. Right, we've got to be so quiet. I am so close to that guy. He can probably hear me walking up the stairs. So I've got to be so quiet. close to somebody. Oh God. Now most of the stuff has been ripped out in here, but it's still got that old cottage feel. Every time that beeps, my stomach turns. Victorian fireplace and just think that could have been installed when Victoria was here not in this house but on this estate because she came here all the time she absolutely loved it one of her favourite places in the country was up round here right and I don't think I want to go into that end room they're all empty anyway like I said but I just wanted to get in here. I'm telling you now, there's nothing better than the sort of feeling of knowing you could get caught. It's scary, but it's brilliant. I proper love it. Right, let's get out of here before we do get caught. move on. Right, once again, I'm somewhere on the estate, however this time I am allowed to be here. There's somebody's house just there, the house I want to show you that has been empty for years is this place. Look at that for a building. What an amazing place, why? Does nobody live there? Why have it, has it been left empty for such a long time? Got a little ford across the water to bring your cars over here. And this is a public footpath that I'm on at the moment, so I'm not gonna get in trouble for being on here. I will, however, get in trouble when I go through those gates. And like I said, there's somebody's house right there. So I have to be careful. So I'm gonna bomb down and quickly have a look now. Now I'm pretty sure I can't get inside this place. I just really, really wanted to come and quickly show it you. Now, somebody did buy it at one point recently and started to do it up. I say recently, I mean maybe 10, 15 years ago and it's still left half done. But I don't think, like I said, I don't think I can get in and I don't think it's even worth going in. But I just wanted to show you, and this is the point of this video really, to show you on these big estates 
with these houses, with people with all this money. There's so many places like this just left. Totally wasted. Look at that. It's been started, and like I said, it's been like this for years. So I know, I know for a fact they're not still doing it up because it's been like this for years and years. And this place has been used in a film. Look at it now, look. It's huge, huge big place. I don't think you can get in most of the bits. I know this door was locked last time I tried. Look, the cobwebs, nobody's been in here for a long time. A long, long time. I'm guessing this is the same. Oh, friggin' hell, Jesus Christ. Christ on a bike. Thought that were going right in my eyeball then. Yeah, so it's just, God knows what they're doing with half of it. Looks like they've started doing stuff and then giving up. It all looks fresh, but I know for a fact I looked in this place a few years ago and it was exactly the same, exactly the same. Nothing has changed at all. And there's just little weird bits. What's in there? Oh, that's the other side of that shed that I couldn't get in a minute ago. I don't know what that's been used for previously. Now, I know this isn't the sort of video you come to expect from us, like with a bit of banter, one thing or another. But I think sometimes it is good to just have a bit of a change and see things slightly differently and this place look at it a little greenhouse there and look at the size of this place just sat empty nobody in here nobody in here at all crazy i just wonder if it's just going to cost too much money look it's hard to show you because it's dusty windows but there we go that's better look yeah, they've ripped all the floors out and started on it, but then just left it. I just, it's, I know it's it's not a cheap job doing things like this. Oh, I wonder what that flashing light were then. It's the lighthouse at the other side of the water. But look at this, right. This is what I wanted to show you, this tower. Look at that, with the proper stone steps, almost like a, a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing going all the way up round the back of here to that little door. How wonderful would it be to live in a place like that? I sound like Lloyd Bloody Grossman, but it's just it's just mad how good that is. Right, on to the next place. If we can get to it, this next one, we have to be a bit dodgy again. Right, so we're heading off from this place. Back through the gate that I'm going to shut and along the coastline. A totally different way to where we were, uh, were earlier on, but at the other side of the castle. Right, let's keep going. Right, so we're heading across the coastal path. Now, you can, that light you can see there is the moon reflecting on the sea. So we are right next to the water, and if you just look over there for a second, that's the lighthouse I was talking about at the other side of the water. Now it's almost starting to get a little bit light. I've been out all night. And you can see there's like there's one village there. That's the house we're looking at. There's a village behind here. You're miles from anything. Every village is like 15 miles from each. Fucking hell. Well, that scared me to death. I don't know if you can hear that, but that absolutely <laughs> scared me to death. Now, up here, there is a bit of a story about a white woman, all in white, walking from, what is that light? That light shouldn't be there. That's a very, very bright light. That shouldn't be there. I don't know what that is, but that came on all of a sudden and it is extremely bright. You can't tell on here. I don't 
don't know what that is. Anyway, this path along here, a lot of the locals have said about a woman dressed in white walking from the lodge where we've just come, which is literally just where those lights are there, along here. And she's been seen all the way along to the main castle, which is, you can't actually quite see it yet. It's probably about a mile along this path. And there's been sightings by hundreds of different people over the years along here. Now, to be honest, these birds are scaring me to death. It's the birds more than the white woman that's, that's scaring me at the moment. Anyway, let's hurry up. Get up there and find what I'm looking for. Oh my God, I wish I was filming then. I really wish I was filming, but I was just walking along and all of a sudden, out the corner of my eye was a massive green flash. And straight across there was a comet or meteor or, or whatever. Just shot straight across the sky. It was brilliant green. That's crazy that, it's so good. I really wish I'd been able to show you that. That's amazing. Right, sorry, got sidetracked with that. Need to carry on going. Right, it's like I'm making my way into Narnia or something. I'm just coming in the back gates of this place to show you what else is hidden away in this amazing castle. Now, I am gonna show you the castle and some people will be able to figure it out where I am. But I was thinking about it the end of the day, people know roughly where I am anyway. So they're gonna be able to work out where I am anyway. So I may as well show you as much as I can of the place. As you can see, it's getting lighter. The sky's getting lighter. And I've got to try and do this before it's too late. I don't know whether I saw another shooting star then out of the corner of my eye or not, but the other one was definitely one big green thing. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. Right, well, I can just see, I think, one of the towers on the castle there, look, sticking up out of the trees. So we're not far away now. Right, the lights are on in the castle and I've just got to the outer walls. And I think this is like the kitchen garden. Oh, and this gate just happens to be open. So I think we will maybe pop through there. Right, I'm officially somewhere again. I shouldn't be. I've got the walls of the garden behind me, but I'm on the track that leads round to the castle. And I'm definitely not supposed to be on this. This is probably the most dangerous part of where we've been so far. And I've got a big bright torch on me, but I hate because I'm behind this wall, so I'm okay. Right, let's keep looking. Right, there's the castle. Still can't see it very well, but it is lit up. Like I said, these are the gardens, walled gardens. Now there's an owl flying around here somewhere, I can hear it. Gotta be really careful on this little bit up here now. Like I said, it is really late, so hopefully I won't be spotted. But I have got a massively bright torch shining, so hopefully they're not gonna see that. Right. Let's keep trying to get to the next building. Right, so you can see the castle pointing up in the background. And up here is the next building that's been left. Now this one isn't residential. It isn't somewhere they could really convert into a house or something like that. But it is still a fantastic building that's been left. Now you did used to be able to get in this. I don't know if you still can. So we'll go and have a look. And I'm hoping we can. Because I have been in here before and it's it's a wonderful building to be fair. It shouldn't be left at all. Right, let's go and have a look inside if we can. Right, before we go in there, I've just found this. Now I have never seen this before. It says planted by uh, What's that? HRH, the Princess of Wales, October 1866. So I don't know who the Princess of Wales was in 1866. I'm not sure at all. But whether the tree 
is this tree that's a little bit further behind or this tree that's in front but that's cool that's been covered up literally looks like they've been clearing stuff around here in fact is that another one or is that a bit of log oh no that's a bit of log so this has been hidden away in the undergrowth until they started cutting stuff down by the looks of things i wonder if it's that one 1866 put down in the comments if you know who that was because i have no idea obviously it was during victoria's reign but i don't know who the princess of wales was in that time right come on right it doesn't look very much on the outside but for a start like i said just think Queen Victoria loved this place. There was a tree planted round that corner by the Princess of Wales. So odds are Victoria was here at the same time and she's probably been in this, which is an old dovecot. Now, you wouldn't just have a few in here. Look in here, let me stand in the middle and show you properly. Look at it in here. How many doves or birds would you have in this place? It is crazy. And it's a big square building from the outside, but it's round in here. It's so good. I, I don't know what it is. Just standing directly here and looking up. It's so good, but once again, it's just falling to rack and ruin. There's a big hole in the roof up there. This ladder that you used to be able to use to get up to them is falling away. The centre pole that holds the whole roof up is at a dodgy angle. I don't know what that bit would have been for. That looks like another door or something at some point. But let me just show you the other way up. Seriously, I know I've got a torch on my head, but how cool does that look? It's like I'm in a big long tunnel. It's so good. So good. Anyway, I'll go and show you the castle if I can. And I don't know if there is another building I can show you, but if not, the castle's worth seeing. I wish you realised how many bleeding nettles I've had to the legs tonight. It has been so bad. So, so bad. I don't know what that is down there. You can see two circular items. Oh no, it's just more logs. Thing is, it's like half past three in the morning. That was a noise. Oh, it's that owl. Wondered what that were then. Yeah, things have started to, like, my eyes are starting to see things that aren't there. It's all a bit weird. Very, very strange. Right, let's head down to the front of the castle and see how much of it you can see. Right, I've decided. I want to have a bit of a look round the walled garden. You're definitely not supposed to be coming here either. But I don't think they're watching me up at the big house. So let's do it. Right. I have no idea what's in here. I don't. Obviously, it's a garden. But it looks like it's just been left to go to rack and ruin. And this is, this is one of the greenhouses. There's a couple of bikes in it yet. And the plants just look like they've been left. Nobody cares about them anymore. Like, it looked like it was, at one point, maybe producing all their own produce not sure, but it definitely doesn't look like they're doing it anymore. Right, let's see if there's anything else to look at in here. Now that's weird, because they've got a live electric fence on, but no, oh my God. I see they've got no animals in here. That's not true. There's three little fat pigs there, look. Hello. You all right, mates? I'll leave you be. So that's why there's an electric fence on. Right, best stay away from them. Don't want to get done for pig rustling now, do we? Now 
there is an even bigger greenhouse that is totally overgrown. I don't know if that's... No, it's just overgrown. It's not crops, but it's massive. It's a huge big one. And that's just been left as well. Right, let's carry on this way. Right, can't believe how close we are to the castle. Definitely not supposed to be up here. That tree is massive. It's like a redwood tree, it's huge. Anyway, I'm gonna run the risk of coming up here. If I come out in the main gardens, I'm gonna be in so much trouble, but surely I can't do. Right, so the castle is literally there, look. And the problem is, there's a caravan and a house around that corner. I need to be very careful now. Right, I've come to the side gate, right next to where that caravan is. I wanna try and show you the castle from here. I don't know if the angle will be right though, because there might be trees in the way, but we'll see what we can do. Right, I've stuck you through the gate. You can't really see it very well. I wanna try and see if I can get a better view from somewhere else. Right, I've just jumped over a wall, thinking that I was going back onto the main path. I seem to find myself very, very close to the castle. I think I might be on a public access road, so I'm all right. I think there's a car down there. I'm not 100% sure, but we are extremely close to the castle and I didn't really want to get this close because I don't want to get myself in trouble. That wasn't the point of this video. But yeah, the main, I can't really show you, but the main gardens are literally just behind here. And the castle is just up there, hiding in the trees. Let's try and get round to the front. Right, we're a bit further down this track, or hardly any further down to be fair. But you can start to see the, the full castle frontage. It's an amazing building, it really is. The thing is, there's cars down here, parked down here. That's the gate that I was at a minute ago looking through. Looking into the main gardens, which are in there. So I don't know whether I should be here or not, but I'm gonna make a swift exit and try and show you the front of the building and then let's get out of here. I know the light's not great and it is a bit blurred, that's the best I can do for you at this time in the morning. Literally, the sun is on his way up over there. However, the moon is still there. The lighthouse is still flashing over there. And this castle is still amazing. But I'm going home now because it's really late and I want to go to sleep. Right, I'm gonna go. You can just about see the tower in the background there. God, I look bloody wrinkly. My eyes look freaky. I'd rather be in the dark like this. So I am going to go. I just wanted to highlight how many buildings that could be saved are just sat there doing nothing in these big, massive stately homes. And it's such a shame. And like things like those... Um, carts and things like that just sat wasting away in a shed somewhere it's not on we've got too much history going to waste last week's video definitely showed that this not as much but the buildings need to be used anyway i know my face looks weird i don't look quite that's better but you can't see the background i thought the background looked pretty good to be fair like look at it just see the tops of the towers but it's like about 4.40 in the morning. The sun will be up very, very soon. I need to go to bed. I am in the middle of nowhere on my own. It's been very scary tonight. I, I have really been scared in some of those buildings, knowing that anyone could just pop up at any time and nobody would know if I got hit over the head and stuck somewhere, but God knows. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit of a different video. It's been more of an adventure, in my opinion, this week. So 
we will be back to a normal explore next week there will still probably be no andy because he's on holiday i'm on holiday um, but then the week after that andy will be back so i'll see you soon love you all and hopefully i get to have a sleep bye